In the late 13th century BC, the Philistines conquered Canaan and forced the Israelites to live as a scattered nation in the mountainous regions. Here in Zorah, a city of the Israelite tribe of Dan, lived a simple shepherd named Manoah. Run! Run! our prayers for a child didn't you hear me the philistines are coming i know what day it is the ration basket is ready i will never understand how you handle the philistines so calmly do you think it's something we've done Perhaps the Lord doesn't want us to raise a child in these hard times. But I feel like I failed you. Of course you haven't. Let's try to concentrate on the good and count our many blessings. Where are your rations? While pregnant, you must follow these rules. Do not eat or drink from the fruit of the vine. Do not eat any unclean foods. Your son will be a Nazarite, a child chosen by God. No one should ever cut his hair, the source of his strength. But... Follow the rules set forth by God, and you will have a son. Noah prayed for the angel to return and teach them how to raise their child. And the angel did return to reaffirm the Lord's promise. wife followed the Lord's orders, and she gave birth to a son. He's the biggest baby I've ever seen. <laughs> Ow! What a grip! <laughs> Quit kidding. What shall we name him? Let's call him... Samson. Samson. Blessed by God. Manoah and his wife soon learned that Samson wasn't like the other boys. One day in the city of Sora, an angel came to Manoah's wife. God has chosen to give you a son. He'll be a true Nazarite. He'll stand up against the Philistines. He'll be great and honored everywhere. Do what God says, both the angel man. And by the way, don't ever cut his hair.
Samson grew older, he became well known in Canaan for his great strength. He was especially popular with young women. <laughs> Come on, Samson, take a turn. But the beautiful ladies here in Timna want to see you do it, right? Yes. I can't. It's full of water. Aww. Everyone knows you're the strongest man in all of Canaan. I bet he can't lift the pot. I bet Samson can lift you and the pot together. You're on. I hope you're as strong as you look. Hold on. Strongest man in Canaan. And you are the prettiest woman. Mother, father, I found the woman I wish to marry. In Timna. In Timna? You mean you want to marry a Philistine girl? Oh, she's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. I want you to go to Timna to arrange for our marriage. Oh, Samson. Can't you find a nice Jewish girl here in Zora? But, Mother... <laughs> this is completely unacceptable. You can't marry a Philistine. <laughs> oh, now look, you've made your mother cry. Oh, Mother, you know I don't mean to upset you. Then why, Samson? Why a Philistine? Because until today, I've never seen a woman as lovely as you. Please. I'm sure you and Father will like her. I'm going to go to Timna today. I hope you will, too. Oh, what'll we do, Manoa? I just don't understand him sometimes. Good. Talk about the power of the Lord. I must keep this to myself. Why won't you tell me what happened anyway? Ow! That stings. Sorry. For such a strong man, you're behaving more like a baby. Nothing. Not even wild beasts could stop me from seeing you again. I didn't think you'd return. After all, I'm a Philistine and you're an Israelite. If it were up to my parents, I wouldn't have. But I persisted. <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say they approve now. Good as new. Pretty good. Let's test it out. What are you doing? It took ten men to lift each one into place. Doubting me again?
<laughs> Look, a Danite clown. Samson, you don't want to upset my father before we are married, do you? Of course not, Shara. You marry him? He's an Israelite. He's beneath you, Shara. There's no way your father will allow it. It's already arranged, Zarek. But Shara... I've waited two years for your proposal. I couldn't wait forever. Your father will never approve. You'll see. She said he already has. Good day, soldier. Here. Why don't you try? Zora, Samson stopped to check on his conquest. There, he received a gift. Hmm. Look at that. Honey. Even though he held an entire beehive in his hand, not one bee stung him. Samson didn't tell his parents what had happened. Samson, in the Philistine tradition, I present you with your 30 escorts for the seven days of the wedding festival. <laughs> to Samson, may you endure the next seven days and be married to my daughter, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm honored to have you as my escorts. If it's not in violation of your traditions, I would like to propose an activity. Tell us, we're at your service. Are you Philistines up to a good challenge? We're the most powerful people in Canaan. Why shouldn't we be? Good. I bet each of you one fine linen robe and one work robe that you can't solve my riddle. <laughs> An Israelite's riddle? What's the challenge in that? Where is a poor Danite going to get 30 sets of clothes and 30 fine linen robes? Don't worry about me. Let's hear the riddle. 30 of us will surely be able to figure it out. Here it is. Out of the eater, something to eat. Out of the strong, Something sweet. What kind of riddle is that? We can't possibly answer it. <laughs> you have seven days. That's the deal. On the fourth day of the festivities, Samson's escorts secretly visited Shayra. Who's there? I is that you, Samson? not Samson. What do you want? You know exactly what we want. No. No, I don't. As you know, we made a little wager with your Danite husband. Yes, it's fun. Fun? There's a lot at stake here. It's been four days and we still have no chance of solving his silly riddle. We want the answer. I don't know it. Well, get it! Shara, you see, the problem is, no one wants to pay the Danite. So, you've got to find a way to get the answer. You've got to help your old friends. You better do what he says. No Danite is going to ruin us, trust me. But... I didn't want it to come to this, Shara. But if you don't get us the answer, we'll burn down your house with you and your father in it. Don't think we won't do it. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> Good. You have three days. Sarah, why do you look so sad? 
Samson, do you trust me? Of course. Do you love me? How could you even ask that, Shira? Because you gave my people a riddle and you haven't told me the answer. How am I supposed to believe you love me if you don't even trust me with the answer? You must believe me. Of course I love you. Then entrust me with your secret. I can't. I just can't. I haven't even told my mother or father. You don't love me. For three days, Shara pleaded with Samson to tell her the answer to the riddle, and finally, he could stand her tears no longer. Oh, Samson, you do love me. You do trust me. Of course I trust you. It's the escorts I don't trust. They could have pressured you for the answer. I would never have told. Remember when I came to court you, and I had these scratches? Yes. On my way from Zora, I killed a lion with my bare hands. These? It's true. Then on my way home, in the lion's mouth, I found the sweet honey of bees. Do you think you have the answer? Samson killed a lion with his bare hands, and then later he looked in the lion's mouth and there was this beehive full of honey. <laughs> 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 You must come to my next meeting. Gentlemen, I believe the time has come to settle a score. <laughs> Do not be so quick to declare victory, Samson. Why? No one knows the answer. It isn't sunset yet. <sighs> Fine. I can wait for a few more minutes. What is sweeter than honey? What is stronger than a lion? <laughs> what? You heard me. We solved the riddle. You owe us 30 sets of clothes and 30 linen robes. <laughs> Samson? Coerced my wife, you would have never answered my riddle. Samson, please. Stay away from me. You betrayed me. I should break you in half. <laughs> You've lost the wager, Samson. Are you a man of honor or a welcher? I wear a large. I like red. Don't worry. I will honor the bet, even though you cheated me. Samson! <laughs> rage, Samson killed 30 Philistines, beginning his violent history with the oppressors of Israel's children, just as the angel of God predicted. Uh -huh. There are your clothes. Now, I'm done with you.